four solid ways to attract rich people in your lives and make them stay you're welcome once again to explicit experts in this video we'll be talking about ways to attract rich people solid ways to attract these rich people people who have a certain, a certain level of financial freedom in your lives and make them stay do you ever wonder why rich people run away from you do you ever wonder why people who have ascertained a certain level of financial freedom they run far away from you it's because you don't know how to attract them so in this video i'll be teaching you ways to attract rich people in your lives and make them stay the first one here is what do you have to offer you should have something to offer to a richer person close to you see a lot of you guys have this uh, entitlement mentality you hear that somebody has money or somebody has connection you want to go and collect they will always run far away from you because you will drain them see these rich people they already know that you are a collector once they see your call they will, they will not pick your call because I need this this is what comes out from your mouth every single opportunity you have to talk to them I need this, I want this, please give me money, give me this, I need this, I need this. Why would the person run away from you? Because you are a connector. You don't have anything to offer. So if you want to attract a rich person towards you, you must have something reasonable to offer. Offering somebody something doesn't literally mean giving the person money. There are a lot of things you can offer to somebody who is richer than you. You can offer intellect, ideas. You can be creative. A lot of positive things can really come out from you without it necessarily being money. There are a lot of people who have money that doesn't have wisdom. There are a lot of people who have money that cannot make a single good decision for themselves. So what are you there for? If you can offer something, people will look out for you, people will look for you. Despite that you are still struggling, you don't have money yet. But they will always come to consult you. Ah, this person is really intelligent. This person can really uh, give me a good idea. They will always come for you. So what do you have to offer to that person, that your neighbor who is richer, who is way richer than you? A lot of you guys have this mentality, poverty mentality, uh, what I call it, uh, entitlement mentality. That's why when you hear that somebody has money, somebody is riding a uh, bed G wagon, you've rated the person like this. If the person gives you 5,000, you don't appreciate it. If the person gives you 10,000, you don't appreciate it. It's called poverty mentality. You are behaving as if you ask them to keep money for you. You are behaving as if you owe them. Or they owe you something, sorry. You behave as if they owe you something. That's why you don't appreciate it. You have this poverty mentality. See, being poor doesn't mean that you will not succeed in life. Struggling doesn't mean that you're not going to make it tomorrow. Poverty means that you are still struggling. You are still trying to make an ends meet. You just need an extra effort and connection. That is what it means. So what do you have to offer to that person who is richer than you to attract them? That is why it's good to be reasonable. That is why it's good to be creative. That is why it's good to think out something. Positive something. Positive ideas that will help that your neighbor who is richer than you to attract them. All you need to do is to think. Have something to offer if you really want to draw a richer person closer to you. Don't always be a collector. You want this, you want that, I need this. They will always run from you. Once they notice that you are a collector, once they notice that you always call them to collect, I need this, I want this. They will not pick your call. They will stop picking your call because they will see you as somebody who always disturbed them. They will see you as a nuisance. They will start trying to avoid you. If you really want to attract a richer person, have something to offer. It doesn't literally need money. Think out something, great ideas. Okay? Thank you. The next one, guys, is loyalty. A lot of you guys are not loyal. You are only loyal by what you get. You have to learn to be loyal. You have to learn to be humble. Bring yourself down if you really want to attract richer people and make them stay. You must have to stay humble. Being loyal, what does it mean? 
it means being sincere being straightforward being trustworthy let people see you and trust you let people see you and rely on you so you have to prove to people who are way richer than you that you are loyal that you are humble once they see that you are a humble person they will go out of their way to favor you i'm telling you once the richer person sees that this person is really a struggling young woman, this person is really a struggling young man, and you are humble, you are sincere, I bet you they will go out of their way to favor you in the little way they can. So I would advise you, learn how to be humble. You learn how to say the truth. You learn how to be sincere. You learn how to be trustworthy. Let your yes be yes. Let your no be no. If you really, want to attract a richer person to your life because once you do this i bet you they will go out of their way to favor you trust me thank you next one guys how do you dress your dressing is your address do you know what i mean by that your dressing is your address how you dress matters a lot your outfit matters a lot if you really want to attract a richer person closer to you, you must be acceptable in the eyes. You must look reasonable, responsible, smart. You must look decent. As I said earlier, acceptable in the eyes. Because they get to see you before they know you. If you dress tattered, a richer person will walk you out from his office. They will think that maybe uh, you, are, you are not uh, medically okay will really walk you out from their office. So how you dress matters a lot, my dear people. If you want to attract a richer person, dress responsibly, dress reasonably, be smart. Dressing doesn't literally mean spending all, all your whole money on dressing, no. Just uh, learn how to combine clothes. Learn how to package yourself. Some of you are going to say, ah, it's fake life. Packaging is fake. It's not fake life. It's being acceptable in the eyes of the people. Is being uh, acceptable in the eyes of the bigger world. You must dress responsible when going to meet somebody who you want help from. You must dress reasonable when going to meet somebody who you want the person to help you. You must be acceptable in the eyes. Take for instance, you are going for an interview, or you want to, or somebody recommends you to go and meet somebody, and you dress that, and once they see you, uh, They've already rejected you in their mind. So you must be acceptable in the eyes of the people. It doesn't literally mean you spending all your whole money on outfits. No. Just look elegant, nice, and okay. You are good to go. If you dress okay and uh, ask the richer person for money, sure, they will give you. They will give you. But when you look tattered, a lot of you guys thinking by looking tattered that a richer person will give you money. They will pity you. Yes, they will pity you and give you money, but they will give you peanuts. They will give you money that will not even uh, be okay for you. Money that is not going to solve anything for you. If you dress tattered, they will pity you. Have you asked yourself, why is it that people, once they see a beggar, they start searching their bag, look, looking for peanuts, looking for chain to give a beggar? Why? Have you asked yourself that question? Have you asked yourself that question? But when you dress responsible, when you dress okay, they don't really know your bag. They don't really know how much you have in your account. It's just that you came asking for help. If they can render such help, they will do it because you are acceptable in the eyes. So you want to attract a richer person closer to you, learn how to dress smartly, learn how to dress okay, learn how to look decent in the eyes. I bet you, if you go and beg a richer person for money or for favor or to help you in one thing or the other, they will consider doing it for you than when you dress like a beggar, than when you dress tattered, looking for a pity. Yes, they will pity you, but they will give you peanuts. They will give you money that is not going to solve anything for you. Alright? Thank you. The fourth one, guys, be outspoken. If you really want to attract a richer person close to you, you must be outspoken. You must learn how to talk. You must learn how to hold a conversation. If you're not outspoken, you will feel intimidated. If you're with richer people, if you have richer people around you and you cannot talk, 
you'll be intimidated by them. It means that you cannot say what you want. It means that you cannot say, this is what I want. It means that you cannot even lay out your request. You just be gathering all the whole request in your mind. You don't know how to say it out. You don't know how to talk. This is one of the things you have to learn if you want to attract a richer person. Be outspoken. If not, they will intimidate you. They will intimidate you, they will use you, and they will dump you. Because you don't know how to talk. You don't know how to say what you want. You don't know how to express yourself. Being outspoken will earn you a lot of things because they get to see your intellect. They get to see you discourse. They get to learn one or two things from you. And by so doing, they will say, ah, this person is really intelligent. This person is smart. This person has something upstairs. This person have something here and they will go for you. You attract them because you are outspoken, because you can talk, because you can address people, because you can say out your mind, because you can request for something. You know how to say, this is what I want. You are blunt. Okay? So if you want to attract a richer person, learn how to talk. Be outspoken. Learn how to say what you want. And if you're holding any conversation with them, learn how to communicate responsibly, reasonably. Learn how to bring out ideas. Learn how to hold conversation if you really want to attract a richer person. So in summary, I will tell you, if you want to attract people who are wealthier than you, people who have asserted a level, a high level of uh, financial freedom, you must learn how to give out what they don't have. And what is that thing they don't have? They have money, but there are other things they lack. They, lack, they might lack ideas. They might lack intellect. They might be looking for people to think for them and they will pay the person. They don't bother themselves thinking. Some richer people, they don't bother themselves thinking. They pay people to think for them. You can be one of them. And once you follow this full step, you're going to learn a lot of things from richer people and they will build you up. But if you're a shy person, you don't know how to talk. You don't even know how to express yourself. You are feeling shy every time. Every time, every single time you are feeling shy. It will be really difficult for you to attract these richer people. So learn how to use your value. Learn how to use your intellect. Learn how to use what you have to get what you don't have. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If there are other points you want me to add to this, drop it in the comment section. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.